and good morning and thank you so much for staying with the McAllen Cable Network. Welcome to our 14th annual Parade of Characters. This morning you're going to be treated to a special Christmas parade as we get ready for our annual toy giveaway. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Roxanne Lerma. And I'm Roy Cantu right here on the parade route right next to the McAllen Police Department. There's thousands of people lined up. Some started getting here as 5.30 yesterday afternoon. Yes, you heard that right. Yesterday afternoon. Yeah. They've been waiting in line. Uh, the lady in the front uh, was here since 5.30, I can't even imagine. Right, and uh, she said she's from McAllen, but of course we have hundreds and hundreds of uh, kiddos lined up from across the Rio Grande Valley. And the most exciting thing about this parade is the parade of characters where the kids, you get to see their smiling faces, and then it starts the big and, toy yeah and then and then it's the big spectacular show where they actually get a toy from our, our McAllen Police Department of course with all of our amazing sponsors uh, HEB and Doctors Hospital at Renaissance right. major contributors but of course there's other sponsors that are uh, participated this year and of course the, the volunteers who come out here early in the morning to line up to get ready to distribute uh, it's a goodie bag fruit toy and some great entertainment yeah and uh, HEB decided to take it to another level uh, this year they've always been a devoted partner of our parade of characters and toy giveaway but now um, we're told that they brought yummy hot dogs uh, drinks for the kiddos so that's gonna be something extra special for our families I know a lot of people had to register for this event and that's only so the uh, police department can get a count right. of how many toys they need to provide and so they uh, registered for the last week and a half and that's how, how why you see thousands of people lined up. Yep, it stretched all the way down, if you can see it, it stretched all the way down to 23rd Street and beyond Roy. I know, from Bicentennial to 23rd, it's incredible. Yeah. And of course the hundreds of volunteers that are behind us getting ready to pass out toys, Roxanne, it's exciting. This is one of my favorite projects. I mean, it is. It's always uh, better to give than, than to receive, and today you're going to see it. It's amazing to see our commission, our mayor, giving out these uh, toys to the kiddos and the smiles. Just wow. And as you can see, there here comes the parade. It's coming down Quince Avenue, headed towards the McAllen Police Department. That's the right. Ma Leading the parade. The McAllen Police motorcycle officers are escorting our parade of characters. The McAllen Police Department has 10 motorcycles and they're of course utilized to enforce traffic laws. Their goal is to reduce traffic accidents. And the mission of the McAllen Police Department is to provide quality, community-oriented services and to enhance public safety and instill confidence of all citizens by partnerships with our citizens to prevent crime and enhance the quality of life throughout our community always treating our people with dignity, fairness, and respect. So our McAllen Police motorcycles leading the Calvary today. Next up, our McAllen Police Honor Guard. Each member of the Honor Guard is carefully selected based on the desire and dedication to represent the McAllen Police Department. And there's our little foursome right there. The members of the Honor Guard represent the city of McAllen and the McAllen Police Department at community and special events like this one. I mean, we always see our McAllen Police Honor Guard at all our big functions, Roy. This is a great community parade, Roxanne, where you really get to see uh, city of McAllen employees show what they do to the community. Yeah, um, we had our huge McAllen holiday parade presented by La Plaza Mall. We got to see amazing illuminated floats and all of that. And then today we get to showcase our departments within the city of McAllen. Yeah. I see a canine. What's incredible about the, about the K-9 program, they're really considered officers and they get to work with McAllen police officers on a daily basis. Right, they, they really are considered police officers. An amazing morning. It's about, uh, what, 50 F degrees? 50 degrees. Sunny. Very sunny. Perfect weather to and give out toys. Up next, here comes Mayor Pro Tem Aida Ramirez and Commissioner Veronica Whitaker. Oh, and they're walking the route. They always like to walk because they get to see all the kids smiling. Right. This is oh, their favorite part. Can you see that? Here comes our mayor. He's doing the high five thing. <laughs> Mayor Jim Darling is actually with uh, all of the kiddos over here that are lined up. He's actually high-fiving the children and their parents on the side. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Mayor Jim Darling always taking Good morning. it to the next Merry level. Christmas. Good morning, ladies. Merry Christmas. Good morning, Mayor. Mayor, good morning, Mayor. How you doing? 
And and of course, because it's live TV, here's the mayor. Live TV, how you doing? Fine, mayor. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Great parade, great day. Is this not great an awesome day. day? Oh yeah, absolutely a great day. A lot of kids been out here pretty early. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Enjoy it. So. What, do you, what do you think about this event? Well, I think it's a great event. You know, um, I've been with it for over 20 years, so uh, I think it's fantastic to see all the kids and um, a great day of giving. You know, it's a great gift to be able to give. So. Yes, it is. Absolutely. So, well, thank you very it. much, Mayor. Okay, thanks, Mayor. Later. Mayor's going to go get it over there to distribute toys to the children right now. There's our Mackay drum line. You can hear and see the McAllen High School drum line at their team's football games. Of course, they're marching on the field and sidelines, drumming up support and spirit. Here comes the front of Mack High, our varsity football players for the 2015-2016 season. Oh my God, look at the Bulldog, hurry! Look at the little mascot! Totally cute. And he's got his little <laughs> scarf on. That is so cute! Here comes uh, our, whole, uh, our armored vehicles from McAllen Public Works. You know, people ask, what does it take to keep McAllen running the way it does? And it's this group right here. That's right, it is the Incident Command Unit. This unit is a 2008 Ford Expedition. And uh, coming up next, we have our sweeper, Roy. And of course, promoting the city's Run, Ride, and Share program on our sweeper. You keeping can't, some of McAllen uh, streets clean. Keep our streets clean without these guys. There comes the dump truck. That beauty is a 2009 Freightliner with a 14-yard dump body. I don't know what that is, here's the, but it sounds important. Here's the flush <laughs> vacuum truck. The vector truck. In a weather emergency, this is the guy you want by your side. That vacuum truck is a 2014 Sterling with a Vector 2000 plus body. More of our fleet operations from McAllen Public Works. And here comes the Nikki Road Hello, drum line. You can't have a parade without these awesome drum lines, Roy. Welcome the Nikki Row High School drum line. They march on the field, drumming up support and spirit for their team. Go Warriors! This vehicle is utilized at McAllen Schools participating with Baco's Recycling Challenge and at green events to promote McAllen Recycles. That's right. Oh my gosh, look at the tractor. Christmas spirit with a little wreath in front and everything. McAllen Public Works our secret weapon in the city of McAllen. They are there in any sort of emergency and just keeping our city safe and clean each and every day. Which of course, if you ever need their service, uh, you can always call the city's uh, 311 center at 681-3111. Uh, and put your order in if there's if they missed your trash if you need some more extra service they can send someone over to take care of that business i love these signs on the side did you know that recycling one aluminum can saves enough energy to run a computer for three hours okay our little tidbit for today yeah there's paquito which is the public works mascot right Oh, and he has a little friend with him today. <laughs> a big teddy bear. And Baco's an acronym for uh, paper. Aluminum. Uh, aluminum, cardboard. Right, and, and others. others. Yeah. And others. Baquito's always out with our McAllen ISD students, uh, teaching about the importance of going green, yes. protecting our environment, and uh, recycling in the city of McAllen and basically anywhere. I hear another drum line. That must be our McCallum Memorial High School yeah. drum line. And now more holiday tunes from none other than the McCallum Memorial High School drum line. Way to go, Mustang drummers.
Oh, there's our friend Sal. There he is. You know, Sal's uh, pretty important in the city of McAllen. He actually owns the key to the city. Ian Little, uh, Christopher Ashton, just amazing exemplary students. Beating the odds each and every day. There's a club, Beboni y Globito. There, there are little clowns, Roy. The entire family of clowns. What's the name of the little one? Does it? Mon Mongolin, Mongolin, <laughs> Mongolin. <laughs> I knew you knew that. We're fans, <laughs> we're fans of Mongolin. Yeah, uh, our digital media coordinator, uh, Laura, just loves him. And of course, there's Chuck E. Cheese. He yep. grew up outside of Atlantic City, New Jersey. He learned to play many instruments, but his favorite of all time is his guitar. Chucky e. dabbles in many sorts of musical styles. Oh, and here come the Doctor's Hospital at Renaissance, folks. We see him rocking out. Doctor's Hospital at Renaissance Health System is one of our major community partners making Christmas for Kids a reality for so many. On the float are actual doctors and they're actually playing a little rock and roll for you, so I think we should probably sit back and enjoy the music. <laughs> Look at the minion hat. And of course we'll talk to Dr. Carlos Cardenas right after the event to find out how he gets all these doctors together to rock and roll with him. That's when you know you have a cool doctor, okay? Yeah. When you see him doing that. Exactly. <laughs> That's kind of a high standard to have for a patient. <laughs> the crowd loving this entry. And make sure to catch us on the city's Facebook and Twitter to follow this great event today. There comes our buddy, H.G. -E buddy. And uh, another entry, Chorizo de San Manuel. H.E.B. always comes through as a community partner and you can see that the volunteers there are ready to work for our big toy giveaway, Roy. And there's H.E.B. buddy, their mascot. He's my friend. Which his big helium balloon made its debut at the McAllen Holiday Parade this year. Yeah, and uh, when we say big balloon, it's we mean big. huge. <laughs> Only in Texas a balloon that size. Oh my God, and look who it is, the invader of chimneys everywhere, the one and only Santa Claus spreading holiday cheer this Christmas season. And of course, he's being escorted by the McAllen Police Department. I think that they uh, have a little intel on where he's going to make his journey this season. And of course, with, when you have Santa Claus, you have to start the toy giveaway right after that. That's right. Santa Claus is here, so that means it's time for all the little elves to get to work. So that wraps up our holiday parade of characters. We thank you so much for joining us. For the city of McAllen, I'm Roxanne Lerma Casares, and this is Mr. Roy Cantu, but we have more to come. We have more to come. Merry Christmas, everyone. That's right. Stay with us. We're continuing our coverage of our annual toy giveaway right outside of the McAllen Police Department. Muchísimas gracias. Nosotros continuamos completamente aquí en esta entrega de regalos para hablar con todos y cada uno de ustedes, pero me encuentro nada más y nada menos que con Alberto Kramerman, uno de los fundadores de este gran evento y que, por supuesto, cada año hace donativo. Navidad, las caras de los niños espectaculares y felices. ¿Qué le decimos a nuestra gente? ¿Cómo se siente? Yo estoy muy feliz y el secreto es que cuando nos hace feliz la felicidad de los demás, la nuestra, se multiplica. Exacto. Así que yo soy feliz miles de veces hoy. Y bueno, por supuesto hay que decir que Hermes Music siempre dice presente porque amamos la música y porque queremos que todos nuestros niños tengan ese espíritu que siempre estamos buscando. Es muy importante que cuando un niño se siente amado, despertamos en él la capacidad de amar. Entonces es muy importante que le demos eso, el amor. Y ellos a su vez van a amar. Es, para mí el secreto de la vida es ese. Por eso estoy tan feliz de estar aquí con la policía de McAllen, con toda la comunidad, para decirles, amemos todos los días. 
es Navidad, todos los días. Exactamente, amemos la Navidad, siempre tengamos, no importa la edad, tengamos ese espíritu, ese espíritu también de dar y de colocar esa sonrisa que año tras año la ciudad de McAllen, Hermes Music, Doctor Hospital y todos nuestros patrocinadores HIV -E dicen presente y que por supuesto podemos ver una gran línea en donde todos esperan ese juguete que es un obsequio de parte de todos y cada uno de ustedes junto con la ciudad de McAllen para poder decirles feliz navidad y próspero año. Por eso, feliz navidad a todos, feliz navidad a todos y siempre he pensado, nosotros en Hermes Music que decimos es que hacemos todo porque amamos la música y la música más hermosa es la sonrisa de un niño. Ese es el mejor eslogan que tenemos, ¿verdad? Es el mejor, es el mejor que <risa> Definitivamente tenemos. Porque claro. amar la música es amar la armonía, amar la paz, amar la vida. Amar la vida, exactamente, y todos nuestros niños que es el futuro que tenemos en este país. Nuestra única esperanza, ¿ok? Nuestra única esperanza. Así que eh, los invito a ser parte de, de este hermoso evento y que todos los días tengamos algo para dar. No se trata de dinero, no se trata, se trata de una sonrisa, una caricia, amor. Nosotros eh, mañana tenemos aquí a nuestra querida Tatiana, que vamos a hacer un evento muy grande con Tatiana en el Civic Center y luego vamos a, a estar eh, en los hospitales regalando juguetes, regalando eh, guitarras y, y eso es lo importante. Los que no pudieron venir aquí, nosotros vamos a ir, el lunes exact vamos a ir. Exactamente, eso es lo importante, que no solamente tenemos la presencia de nuestros niños aquí, sino que un poquito más adelante vamos a seguir recorriendo diferentes lugares, como en este caso los hospitales, tenemos diferentes figuras que siempre nos acompañan y que siempre ayudan en este tipo de evento y que nosotros de alguna manera podemos decirles gracias, gracias por compartir, gracias por estar. Y qué me queda a mí que cerrar este segmento con usted y decirle gracias por ser uno de nuestros patrocinadores, gracias en nombre de la ciudad de McAllen, en nombre del alcalde, en nombre de los comisionados, en nombre de toda la ciudad y de todos esos niños. Mire, voltee, mire nada más las caritas de ellos completamente felices, felices porque podemos colocar esa sonrisa, esa magia en cada uno de los niños. El agradecido soy yo, porque poder dar es un privilegio. Ahí. Gracias. Exactamente. Y a ustedes, amigos televidentes, no nos queda más que decirles en nombre de todos los que estamos presentes hoy, feliz Navidad, próspero año a usted, que Santa le traiga muchos más regalos para que siga dándoles a todos. Más los sonrisas, más sonrisas. Felicidades. Felicidades. Mucho amor, mucha paz. Muchísimas gracias, felicidades y mucho amor y mucha paz. Claro que sí, Roxanne Lerma está lista y tenemos algo más para usted. Adelante con nuestras cámaras. And we are continuing our coverage on one of the most favorite days of the year in the city of McAllen. Joining us now, our mayor, Jim Darling. Mayor, why is today so special? Oh, it's great. There's about 4,500 kids over there going to get a present and see all the smiles on their faces, get a little nourishment from HEB, and so just a fantastic day. And you got to see Santa Claus, too, so. Yeah, that's, that's a bonus. The big guy was here. Yeah. It's always better to, to give than to receive, and we see that today with our kiddos. Oh, yeah, and the volunteers is fantastic. You know, not only uh, we have our city people here and volunteers from HEB and Doctors Hospital, and so um, everybody has a good time, I think, so it's a great day. We like to say that we are the city with a, a heart, and I think this kind of showcases that. A absolutely, you know, and this has grown, uh, I remember, about 25 years ago when we started it, and so it's just no Not 25, you're younger than you. Yeah, about, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I was a kid then. And, and so it's really grown uh, to something fantastic. Fantastic. It's so really good to see all the all the families here. So Excellent. enjoying Mayor, it. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, night. yeah, I am. Okay. I'm gonna go and handle some toys in just a bit. Right. Roy, okay. now back to you. Thanks, Roxanne. We're here at the uh, distribution line for Christmas for Kids, the toy giveaway. With me right now is Chief Victor Rodriguez, who's been organizing this for 14 years. Chief, great success today. Absolutely, thank you. Uh, this is uh, basically an achievement of uh, the city of McAllen community, because at the end of the day, uh, we get we can do this only with the uh, city of McAllen community support. And, uh, and it is basically uh, a community sponsored event for the benefit of the, of the McAllen community. You have some great sponsors this year and, and two big ones that have stepped up is Doctors Hospital at Renaissance, who've been with you since the beginning, and of course HEB. Uh, wh how do you get these people involved? Well, I mean, we, we, have, we have a program that is proven, a program that gives back to its community, and a program that we basically at McAllen, at the city of McAllen, through our departments, with McAllen PD, and you know, we, we got traffic and we got parks and everybody else involved in this as well. We, at the end of the day, we simply organize this. You know, our McAllen community has seen a, a fit from, from them to give to this. Um, we, we spend our money wisely. And we were able to feed uh, and provide for um, 
45 to 5,000 kids here, you know, on a yearly basis. So today we have, we think about 4,500 kids out here today. We have a crowd of about 10 to 11,000 people out here today. All of them will get multiple things in their bags as they go forward, starting with fruit, with candy, and things like that. HEB's brought forth hot dogs today because we used to do that at one time and we, we kind of faded out because um, we had sponsors uh, base, uh, that we couldn't necessarily keep doing that for us. But HEB's done it. They stepped up today. They want to be bigger. I mean, HEB is uh, one of our proud sponsors in our community of many different things that are community for them. Doctors Hospital has been with us from day one. They were the very first group that we approached. The people that, that today are Doctors Hospital are the people that have been with us ever since day one. So. We, we get all, we put all of them together and we put forth uh, together all their effort and we're able to have an event like this today. Today we at McAllen, we simply step back and allow them to, uh, to uh, see the fruits of their, of, their, of their contributions go to work. I know when you first started this, you've served 65,000 children because I think that's what we've talked about. Yes. But why do you do it? Because this is a lot of organization, coordination with your staff to make sure that we, and the whole city, to make sure that we do this event right. Well, you know, you know, we in McAllen, we, we have a, a duty to, um, to serve our public. And, and there's more ways of serving our public than simply answering their call for service. Uh, so this is one time when we can actually uh, do something that actually helps them. You know, for, for many kids here today, and some of them have been here overnight, um, this is their Christmas. This is going to be it. Uh, so we're very proud to be able to, uh, as part of our work, bring the community together to do this for them. And I'd like to introduce a nice little young man here. His name is Ryan. And of course, uh, I, he, you, he introduced himself as, that's my grandpa. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think about this event? Uh, I think it's awesome. All righty, well, thank you very much. What do you think about your grandpa? Mm, awesome. All righty. <laughs> of course, he's not president. Yeah, he's been part of this in his very early days. Yeah. I remember in his stroller, his mom used to bring him to pass out toys. So here he is in third grade already. Nice young man. Thank you for joining us. Right here from the Christmas for Kids uh, parade route, uh, up next is Carolina Teran with more. Bueno, mientras esperamos por esa música que ya está a punto de comenzar, oímos, claro que sí, vamos a presentar a quien amablemente nos acompaña, nuestra comisionada de la ciudad de McAllen. Estamos en Navidad, estamos colocando sonrisas en todos nuestros niños y por supuesto Aida Ramírez tiene un mensaje y una felicidad especial porque ella tiene gemelos y puede ver en sus niños el reflejo de otros. Y eso es, Carolina, de eso se trata en estas fiestas en estas felices fiestas ahorita de, de darle una sonrisa a estos niños, ¿verdad? Que tal vez no, no, la, no la tendrían, ¿verdad? Y de agradecer a todas las personas que cooperaron para hacer esto posible junto con la ciudad de McAllen y todos los empleados de McAllen de que se lleve esto a cabo para la comunidad. Y es bonito porque de eso se trata, de dar para atrás a nuestra comunidad. Exacto, y podemos ver que año tras año nuestros patrocinadores, la ciudad de McAllen, en el caso de ustedes como comisionados, también dirigentes de esta nación, de esta área, de esta ciudad, pueden decirle a nuestra gente gracias y pueden decirle también de esa forma tan especial, con un regalo, con una sonrisa. ¿Qué sienten ustedes cuando ven un evento como este, que es definitivamente algo espectacular? Y es algo feliz, Carolina, porque hoy en la mañana al caminar en el desfile y de ver a estos niños, ¿verdad? Está un poquito frío esta mañana, pero ellos con aquella cosa de ver a, a Santa Claus y de recibir un regalito, ¿verdad? Y eso es lo que, lo que podemos hacer nosotros como la comisión, ¿verdad? De regalarle algo poquito a nuestra comunidad y de eso se trata, de, de darles a ellos, que es tiempo de los niños y de ver esa sonrisa de que ellos con un monito de peluche, con un carrito, ¿verdad? Se conforman y eso, eso vale la pena. Aprender, aprender de alguna manera, ver el agradecimiento de nuestros niños y que ellos día tras día nos dan una gran lección y nos dicen, o sea, nosotros estamos aquí para ustedes y ustedes están aquí para nosotros. Y después de todo un año de trabajo, colocar ese juguete en las manos de nuestros niños es algo bien importante, es algo bien especial, ¿verdad? Y sí lo es, es muy, muy especial. A mí me da mucho, mucho, me da... ¿verdad? Felicidad, Felicidad ¿verdad? de verlos, de verlos, esa sonrisita, ¿verdad? Y ellos son el futuro, so tenemos que sembrar en ellos para porque ellos son el futuro de nuestra comunidad. 
Bueno, no me quiero despedir sin antes darle la oportunidad de que en nombre del alcalde, en nombre de la comisión, podamos decirle a nuestra gente feliz Navidad, feliz año y que por supuesto pasen una Navidad espectacular. Así es, de parte de la, del alcalde y de la ciudad de McAllen, de todos los comisionados, de todos los empleados, queremos desearle a usted y a su familia una feliz Navidad, un muy próspero año nuevo. Este, y que la pasen bonito y feliz con toda su familia, son los deseos de nosotros a ustedes Pues ustedes lo escucharon, así que nos vamos Feliz Navidad para todos y los mejores deseos en nombre de la ciudad de Macalen les informamos desde aquí desde este gran evento en donde entregamos juguetes a todos nuestros niños Feliz Navidad y próspero Año Nuevo Thank you so much, Caro. And of course, today, this fabulous, awesome day could not be possible without the help of our partners, our sponsors, big sponsors today, HEB joining us now, Ms. Linda Tovar. How do you feel about being a part of this? My gosh, I am so excited, so humbled. My heart has been touched. Seeing hundreds of families lined up so early in the morning to just await to receive a toy is something that just is amazing. I mean, I'm extremely excited. Our partners are all thrilled to be here today. Um, and we're so happy to be a partner with the McKellen Police Department and the city of McKellen. So we heard that the very first uh, lady that was waiting for her kiddos to get toys was actually here at 5.30 yesterday. That's when they lined up. And you have the best seat in the house because you're front row Joe <laughs> handing out the toys. What is the reaction from our kiddos? Their smiles, you know, the embracements, they're so grateful. It, 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 it's funny as, you know, we're handling the toys, they, they look at the table filled of toys and their excitement through their eyes, just receiving that toy for this Christmas holiday season. I mean, it's priceless, um, Roxanne. It's something, the experience itself is so fulfilling that um, I'm blessed to be here today. Yeah, it's always better to give than to receive. It really is. It really is. Thank you, Miss Linda. We so appreciate HEB and your help. Thank you, Roxy. And stay with us for the City of McAllen. I'm Roxanne Lerma. Let me ask you, you doctors, you rock and rolled on the parade route, and now you're handing out toys. Well, it's uh, we've been doing this right now 14 years, the 14th annual, and each year it's just so much more fun. Matter of fact, today we did a new riff. We did a Georgia Satellites mm -hmm. riff out there on the parade uh, route, and the kids were getting into it. Everybody's just having fun, and of course, McAllen PD, City of McAllen, and Doctors Hospital at Renaissance, we love what we're doing each and every year to help the kids. Well, let me ask you, Dr. Rivera, uh, why y'all do this? Because you're busy. You're, you're helping people. Monday through Friday. Yeah, it, it, every all the physicians here, the families, everybody's busy, but not too busy to do this. So when it comes from the heart, you know, like that saying they tell you, do uh, random acts of kindness and just be good, uh, goodwill towards men. Well, this is the ultimate example of goodwill towards men and goodwill towards our fellow neighbors and McAllenites and people from the surrounding areas too. Well, thank you very much, and I know we couldn't have done it without Doctors Hospital uh, as one of our proud sponsors. Thank you, and Merry Christmas to you and and your entire team who's out here helping out. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. Thank you. Thank you very much.